How's it going, everybody? So we're here. We're in the the sort of transition phase between winter to spring now in my area. So it just started actually about a few days ago. We started to get back above the, the freezing mark. And when you look at the next 14 days or, sh or so with our weather, it's a lot of flip-flopping back and forth between rain, maybe a few little flurries here and there, a couple of cold days here and there, and now seeing lots of days that are above the freezing mark. So today, for instance, it's five degrees Celsius. Yesterday was like four, the day before was six. So we finally made it to, to that point in the season. Before we take a little tour around the yard, I'm just gonna like quickly sum up what, what winter was like for us. So it was kind of, it was short and sweet. So it literally lasted about six or seven weeks. And I know that we're still gonna have some win, like win, uh, winter weather from this point forward, but it should be pretty minor. Um, but generally it was short and sweet, uh, about six to seven weeks. Um, our, our lowest low is only minus 17.5 at my house. So we had a zone 7A winter, which is pretty insane compared to what other folks have had across North America. Um, so the plants actually, you know, quite enjoyed it this year, but um, I had another issue. So carnage across my yard when it comes to rodents. So the neighbor behind me uh, tore down a shed in the fall, and uh, I think there was just a mass exodus of mice that landed in my yard. You guys know if you watch some of my past videos that the palm in the back was basically decimated, and actually the one here in the front has almost all of its fronds chewed off by mice. I caught it at the end of January and was able to start treating the area and, and using uh, things that rodents didn't like the smell of, um, like peppermint drops, and I was using Critter Ritter as well to keep them away, and I think that kind of worked. Um, but they also got my Washingtonia in the back. It was eaten right through the, through the trunk, so I ended up just um, throwing that out. Uh, my American holly tree, my little one in the back, all the leaves have been eaten off it. My other little castle spire in the back, all the leaves have been eaten off of it. Um, my my little fig tree at the side, all the all the stems gone. So lots of carnage, and you're going to see that as I'm unwrapping things and as spring starts to arrive in the next few weeks. So it's going to be disappointing that way. But anyways, we'll take you around the yard. We'll have a look at how things uh, are doing right now. Starting at the side of the house, here is my needle palm. I did notice that a mouse had been burrowing into the side down here early on, but I was able to, to treat it in time and, and uh, no damage happened to the needle. It'll be interesting to see what happens over here because I have candle lilies uh, under the ground there that I left in. Working our way down, Sable Miner looks good. Needle looks good. I probably heated these guys about maybe 30 nights throughout the winter, and but didn't really take the the um, the cans off much because this winter just kind of stayed cold for that six weeks. Like we didn't, I don't think we ever really went above freezing that often. We were just generally kind of cold, but not not like really cold. Having a look at the. American Holly. A little bit of damage on the on the leaves, but it had no no protection this year. So I think it looks good. I pulled the bamboo out of the ground. So I laid that down and you were along for that video. So I just pulled that up yesterday out of the snow and it looks good. Funny enough, nothing, no mice went after it. I may lay it down though tomorrow night just because we might get to minus 14 or 15 celsius so that's about it on this side so lots of stuff is still covered up with the snow that i piled up you can see the virginiana here sunburn leaves and this is the 
the tracky they got, like I said, decimated. So we'll see how that looks when I uncover it. And uh, again, not much to see back here because the snow is piled up, but I think like I used my, I used my snowblower twice this winter and shoveled about three times aside from that. So it's been pretty, a pretty, pretty easy going winter, really. I'll go around to the other side now. My Virginiana held a lot of its leaves. And that's a good indicator of a mild winter for us. So you can see I still have the, the cover on. I'm thinking about maybe taking some of it off today and having a look, but uh, it's not gonna look pretty, unfortunately. Boxwood tree looks fine. All my grasses actually look really good too. The mice even actually ate my yucca, which is crazy. And then um, leather leaf, mahonia, endless, su endless summer Daphne. And these look good really because these are marginal plants here and they look fine. And then check out my Cuba Japonica. It has never looked like this after a winter. So like I usually have like mold and I have like some of these stems will be dying and stuff. I and mean, I've got none of that, which is crazy. But it just shows how, you know, how mild it was. I usually even have burn on these leaves, but like there's no burn on them. It's cool. And the umbrella fine looks fine. And then again, not much to see down here. This is the Franklin tree and I really don't know if it looks good or bad or dead or alive. I know nothing about these. So that'll just be a surprise when spring, true spring rolls around. And that's the table mountain pine. That's gonna get a new home in the spring somewhere. I just don't know where yet. And a couple of those rotos look bad. And I just don't know if I, if I just need to pull a couple of these out and just put in like, these are, this is the rhododendrons. I get these ones at Canadian Tire and at my old place, I just had like Canadian Tire rhododendrons and they always do really well and they get really big and they're healthy. And then I buy these ones in places like Niagara Falls and they're like specialty rhododendrons and they never do that well. So I don't know, I'll see when, when, uh, when the garden center is open, maybe I'll place it with some other rhododendrons or fill it up with more, I don't know, we'll see. So thanks for having a look today, guys. And there'll be more to see in the in the weeks to come. And uh, as I'm uncovering the palm trees, I'll, I'll keep you guys around for that as well. But like I said, just uh, a warning now, things are not going to look good um, because of all the rodent damage. So it's 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 going to be a season starting off slow i think for me and you know that's the way it goes sometimes with gardening right it's temperatures will kill them rodents uh, uh diseases right it's just it's all part of the fun i guess but uh anyways guys thanks for watching today and we will see you again sometime soon